The Ugly Duckling, retold by Lynn Bradbury, illustrated by Petula Stone. It was summer in the country. All the hay had been stocked and the fields of corn were yellow. Round the edges of the fields ran deep canals and right in the middle was an old house. On the banks of the canals grew tall duck leaves. Here a duck sat on her nest. She was waiting for her ducklings to hatch. She had been waiting for a long time. At last the eggs began to crack. One by one, the ducklings poked their heads out. They said as they saw the big outside world. Soon all the eggs had hatched except one. This was the biggest of all the eggs. The duck sat on her big egg a little longer until it cracked. Out tumbled the last of her chicks. She looked at him and said, Oh dear, you're so big and ugly. The next day was warm and sunny. The duck took her new family down to the canal. She splashed into the water. One by one, the ducklings followed her. Soon, they were all swimming beautifully, even the big ugly gray one. Next, the mother took her ducklings into the dockyard. Stay close to me and watch out for the cat, she said to them. And remember to bow your heads to that duck over there. This was the oldest and most important duck in the yard. The duck yard was very noisy. The ducklings walked close to their mother and remembered to bow their heads. The other ducks thought they were all beautiful, except for the big ugly one. The ducklings lived in the yard, but the ugly duckling was very unhappy. The older ducks pecked at him and laughed. He had nowhere to go. One day he ran away. He ran until he came to the great marsh where the wild ducks lived. The duckling was very tired. He lay in the rushes for two whole days. Then the wild ducks and some geese came to look at him. You're very ugly, they said, and they laughed at him. The poor ugly duckling ran away from the great marsh. He ran and ran over the fields and meadows. The wind blew and the duckling was cold and tired. It was getting dark. The duckling found a little cottage. It was very old and the door was falling off. This left a gap just big enough for the duckling to creep inside out of the cold. An old woman lived in the cottage. She had a cat which could purr and a hen which laid eggs. They found the ugly duckling in the morning. The old woman said, You can stay. Now we shall have duck eggs. So the duckling stayed, but he did not lay eggs. The cat said to him, Can you purr? No, said the duckling. The hen said, Can you lay eggs? No, said the duckling sadly. Then you must go. <laughs> said the cat and the hen. The ugly duckling went away again. He walked in the marshes and floated on the water. Everywhere he went, birds and animals said, How big and ugly you are! Winter was coming. The leaves had dropped from the trees. The ground was cold and hard, and the duckling had nowhere to stay. One evening, a flock of birds flew overhead. There were beautiful white swans with long necks. I wish I was like that, said the duckling. The winter grew colder. The duckling had to peck at the ice to find water. One night he was so tired he fell asleep on the ice. In the morning a farmer found the duckling. 
he took him home for his wife to look after. When the duckling was better, the farmer's children wanted to play with him. He was frightened and tried to run away from them. He flew into the milk churn and then landed in a barrel of flour. The children laughed and tried to catch him. <laughs> the duckling ran far away. He hid among reeds in the marsh all through the long cold winter. Then the warm spring sun came. The duckling spread his wings. They were strong wings now and he flew high into the air. He flew over the canal and saw three beautiful swans. As he landed, the duckling saw himself in the water. He was not an ugly duckling at all. He was a beautiful white swan. Come with us, said the other swans. And he did. Hi! If you like this video, please give this a like and hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video.